streamers. My name is BB Jess. Nice to meet you if we haven't met before. And I was lucky enough to be invited to Twitch's guest star alpha program. Uh, last night, I did a stream using the feature and testing it out. So I decided, hey, let me make a little video and show you guys how to do it because I do think eventually this feature will be released site-wide and it will be so integral to streamers who collab with other streamers. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it and I'll show you how to use Twitch's guest star feature. Since guest star is still in its alpha, there is an extra step at the beginning that may not be necessary towards the end once this gets released to the wider audience. And for right now, that is an OBS plugin that essentially turns your webcam into two cameras. It's a filter that you apply to your camera uh, that makes it a virtual webcam, different from OBS's virtual webcam in that it is just turning your camera source into the virtual webcam instead of the entire OBS display. All of your guests probably don't want to see your alerts or overlays. Um, personally, for me, I didn't have to do this step. Uh, my stream requires my guests to be able to see and hear what's happening on screen. So I just shared my virtual cam to my guest star. Um, and uh, I also have a Camlink Pro, uh, which allows me to bypass that one camera at a time in different sources issue. So if this is a problem for you and if you have any questions or if, you know, this plugin is still important later on, I'll make a separate video with a follow-up on uh, how to install the plugin and how to use this with Guest Star. But All right, so you're ready to host a Guest Star stream. How do you do it? Well, step two, host a stream. Uh, right now for the alpha, you do need Windows and you do need Chrome. I'm not sure if this is the plan moving forward, if that will always be required. But for right now, uh, you do have to be on Windows and you do have to use a Chrome browser. Other than that, though, they have made it super easy to use this feature. I'm just going to jump in and show you. I'm going to go ahead and open up my stream manager here in my creator dashboard. I'm going to go to quick actions up here. If for some reason you have access to guest star, but you're not seeing the button to click in your quick actions, you can always click this little plus button to open up your uh, quick action store and then add guest star in i'm gonna go ahead and click on that and open up guest star i'm gonna make this full screen and i'm just gonna show you what i see maybe if i click on the right thing come on obs there we go so here is guest star uh, up here it says the title of my stream it says i'm backstage because we are not currently live um, and then when you do go live something that i really love about this feature it shows all of the guests how many people are watching and how long you have been streaming personally i hope they don't get rid of this feature i think it's really important for all of your guests to know uh what's going on and how many people are watching and if i could i got a new mic stand today so bear with me if i'm fidgeting with it harris heller would be so ashamed um, so once you open up guest star, you can see here, you can have up to five guests at any time. Um, I'm not sure how many people you can invite up to right now. I had so many people yesterday on my stream that had, I had invited, but they couldn't find their invites or they just didn't have access to this right now. Um, so I'm not sure the limit on how many people you can invite, but one of my favorite things is that you can move people in and out. Um, I'll show you that a little later on. And uh, I'll also show you right now how to set up this in your OBS. But before I do that, lots of steps I know, I'm just gonna show you how to invite someone right now. So as of right now, in order to invite someone to Guest Star, they have to be a Twitch user. They have to have a Twitch account. I'm gonna invite my BB mod bot for this, just to give you an example of how to invite invite someone. You're going to send the invite and in a later step, I will show you what that invite looks like for your guests and how they join your call. But for right now, I think now that you have seen what the interface looks like, it's time to set it up into OBS. All right, step three, how to host a guest star stream. Luckily, Twitch has made this super freaking easy by just putting everything to simple browser sources that don't change. All right, get a load of this. So um, for each guest, you will see uh, links. You're gonna click on this link here and it'll turn gray once you have copied it. Um, and then you're gonna open up your OBS. So let me move over to my OBS scene right here. This is what I'm recording in. And they have made it as easy as can be. You're in your scene. You go to your sources, add a source. You're gonna add a browser source, name your browser source. I highly suggest naming them based off of which number slot you are putting in. So you'll see mine are already down here as GS1, GS2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, for today, I'm just gonna say 
test one. All right, we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Let me move this out of our way here. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to set this up. So right here, um, you're gonna have your browser source prompt right up here. Uh, you're gonna put in your URL, of course, where it says URL. And I had an issue when I first used this with the nameplates being really small. And that's just because I did the classic thing, the classic streamer thing, I was putting the width and height in the usual 1920 by 1080. However, the developers of this highly suggest using 640 by 360. So let's put in 640 by 360. Um, and then down here, another thing you're going to notice, uh, control audio via OBS. I highly recommend doing this for each source, or you may run into doubled audio because now not only are you sending audio to OBS, you're also going to get it from the open tab, which you are inviting people into. So uh, I clicked control audio via OBS. I would hit OK, but I'm not going to add this in. I already have my source in. And then uh, over here in your audio mixer, I would go in and mute my guest star um, sources, or you can mute the tab just to avoid double audio. So once you have this set up, uh, you can get a little fancy with it. I have all of my guest stars actually in an overlay scene. Let me show you what I mean. Again, you don't have to do this. You can do this the simple streamer way where you go in and just add a bunch of sources for guest one, guest two, guest three, and then you can move them around as you see fit. I went a different route and I put, I know this looks overwhelming, but I put all of my guest stars on one page. Usually the display capture isn't here. I'm just using this for recording purposes. So guest star five, four, three, two, and one, you can kind of see where they are placed on the screen as I move about. That way, when I go to my just chatting scene, you will see here I have my um, overlays over here and um, a part of my overlay scene are my guest star sources. So no matter which camera I'm using, I have quite a few. You'll be able to see my guests on screen with me. That is a total extra step that you don't need to worry about. I just wanted to explain why you aren't seeing my sources where they belong. Um, but setting this up in OBS again is as easy as they could have made it. They have um, browser sources that you add in and uh, and it's, it's just that easy. So now that I've showed you how to set this up on stream, I'm going to show you what it looks like for guests guests to receive an invite. All right, time for step four. This is having your guests actually join the stream and then how to bring them on to the guest star app. So let me show you here first what it looks like for someone to be invited to your stream. Uh, this, of course, is my BB Mod Bot account. This is just uh, my, my bot that I use for alerts, things like that. When your guest looks at their notifications, now let me remind you, they have to be on PC and on Chrome as of this moment, as of recording. All they're going to do is click that notification there that says BB Just has invited you to join the stream as a guest. They're going to have to follow these prompts to say that they agree to join the live stream, that they will be recorded in VODs, clips, moments, etc. They agree to follow the TOS, continue. Here they will be prompted to set up their screen. I think I set up my background camera back here for today. No signal. All right, that's not the one. It might be this one. All right, that camera will work. That's not the camera I wanted, but uh, what camera is that? Hello. Oh, that's my background camera. Perfect. All right, so we have the camera set up and then here they can also pick their microphone. Um, I just picked a microphone that isn't plugged in so I don't have double audio for the sake of this. Here, um, they will automatically be muted and their video will not be on while they are testing this. So um, if you are planning on being a guest, it would be super helpful to your host to go ahead and click these on. When you click continue, you will join backstage and here is where your guest will sit and stay until you, as the host, again, here is our host screen, bring them in. So they will be here in the queue. They will say join backstage and they will wait for you to slot them. So here I can tell by these two sources here, the camera is on, the microphone is on. It looks like they're ready. I'm gonna go ahead and slot them into slot number one. Now, another option I have is to whisper them or to remove their invite entirely, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them into slot one. I could have put them anywhere I wanted, but for right now, they are in slot two. 
and you will see that this person is not being shown to my stream right now because it doesn't say that they are being shown on stream, which is super great. You'll also see their name down here. You have the ability as the streamer to turn off their camera if for some reason you don't want to see them. You can mute their mic if you don't want to hear them. And uh, I don't know why their camera didn't come back on once I turned that on, actually. I think they might have to, they have to turn their camera back on too. So that's good to know. If you disable their camera or mic, they also have to go re-enable it once you've re-enabled it. Very good to know. Um, once they are here, there are a couple options. Uh, you can kick them from the stream using this X. It will prompt you to make sure that you want to remove them before you remove them. You can also click these three buttons here to once again, copy the browser source in case for some reason you can't find it in your OBS, you need to reset it up. You can whisper or you can move them back in line to the queue right over here. Let me show you what it looks like when you add someone into the stream. So I'm recording this in OBS and you can now see down at the bottom, my sub goal is up and my little event notification ticker is up there. So um, this is what I'm seeing in my OBS right now. I'm going to click guest slot one show on stream. And up here, you can now see where I have my guest number one placed in my OBS. It's that simple. And um, as I move them around, let's see, let me move her back to the queue move to queue. There we go. She's no longer on stream. Let me see what happens. Oh, once I did that, that removed my guests. They have to reset up all of their devices, which is good to know. Um, they are now waiting to be put in backstage. I'm going to slot them now into guest slot four. Um, again, I'm going to have to go manually click show on stream. And there they are. So I have five sources set up. I believe I have one, two, guest three, guest four, and then guest five goes right here in the middle. And I have these sources on an overlay source. So um, no matter which camera I switch to, uh, you will be able to see my guest in the corner because I just have them on all of my scenes because I think this is such a cool feature. Sure. A couple of notes and things before we wrap up this video. I do want to bring your attention to one thing here. And we are at the, uh, at the guest star app, right? Make sure when you are done, you click this little end call button not the end of the world, but sometimes uh, this, even if you kick out all your guests, right? Remove the guests, goodbye, they're gone. If you just close the browser, sometimes it'll keep running. Uh, it'll keep pulling your audio and your camera for a little bit. Um, something one of the developers mentioned early on is that uh, this window only stays open for 15 minutes at a time. I don't know if that's with someone else in the call or if you're alone, but one thing they did suggest is to set all of this up and then when you're ready to actually go live and invite people to exit out of the call and guest star and then to go into your stream manager and just re-invite everybody um one last time that way you have a fresh call and there's no timer again i haven't had any issues with the app closing or with the program closing so uh i will update you if i find anything else about this little feature um, but there you have it, guest star on Twitch. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Are you excited to get your hands on this feature? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain anything thoroughly, I will be more than happy to try to answer them down below or uh, hit me up on Twitter, TTV everywhere except on Twitch. BB Jess. Um, this was my first tutorial, so hopefully you guys liked it and you find some use out of it. Again, Twitch, if you can hear me out there, oh, masterful, oh, 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 Twitch, you nailed it today. You absolutely nailed it. This feature is so cool. I had such a great time last night on stream with my community. In fact, I'm going to end this video with a clip from last night's stream using Guest Star. If you guys don't know, I do a certain dance every time I get a Prime subscription on Twitch and I hadn't realized that my viewers had picked up on the dance and have memorized it. And last night during stream, when I had them on my stream, we had to do the dance. I'll show you that. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day. Happy streaming. Be kind to people. All right. All right. Watch the clip. Great. <laughs> we all have to do a dance. I love Oh, God. <laughs> it never stops. They just...